Ladies and gentlemen, we now come to the last point on our agenda, which is to adopt the conclusions of the meeting. Over the last one and a half days, we've had a lot of discussion, a lot of feedback, a lot of sharing of information and experiences. And based on the input which we have received, we have drafted the conclusions of the meeting which you have before you. What I would like to do is to first read out these conclusions and then we will proceed to receive any comments or suggestions from the floor. So I will start. The DEMFAS advisory group advises the Secretary General of UNCTAD of the following conclusions of its eighth meeting held on in Geneva on 17th and 18th November 2011. The DEMFAS advisory group regarding the program's strategic plan and work plan notes the positive outcomes from the completed 2007 to 2010 strategic plan. Two, considers that the new strategic plan for 2011 to 2014 is relevant and responsive to countries' needs and will contribute to strengthening the capacity of developing countries and economies in transition to manage their operational, statistical and analytical debt management functions. Three, appreciates the well-focused objectives of the new strategic plan. Four, agrees with the priorities for the period and in particular the implementation of DEMFAS 6 and capacity building. Five, acknowledges that the DEMFAS system should be the primary source of debt data for other systems used by the institutions, for example, MTDS, asset and liability management, and public financial management systems. Six, request the program to ensure that adequate provisions are made for training of national information technology staff involved in supporting DEMFAS. Seven, <coughs> recommends that system functionalities and related training in the area of debt securities, including options and derivatives, be key priorities for the period. Eight, takes note of the preliminary results of the recent debt analysis survey conducted by the program and requests that the final results be shared with the advisory group. Nine, encourages the program to facilitate guidance on optimal methods for establishing national and regional capital markets. 10. Stresses the importance of continued synergies between the program's technical assistance work and UNCTAD's research and analytical work on debt management. Regarding DEMFAS 6, point 11. Appreciates that DEMFAS 6 meets the evolving needs of debt offices and is a very positive progression from DEMFAS 5.3. 12. Notes with satisfaction that DEMFAS 6 incorporates improvements to all the main functionalities available in DEMFAS 5.3, as well as enhanced management of domestic debt and securities analysis and reporting. 13. Appreciates the ease of data conversion from DEMFAS 5.3 to DEMFAS 6. 14 stresses the need for countries to ensure that they have adequate equipment on which to install the new version. <laughs> Fifteen, asks the program to evaluate the feasibility of providing an improved module for grants. Sixteen, requests the program to continuously monitor the performance of DEMFAS 6 and quickly resolve any problems identified. Seventeen, expresses its interest in the incorporation of new modules covering auditing, exportation of information to other systems, secondary markets, and more sophisticated simulations. 18. Acknowledges with appreciation that DEMFAS 6 includes new functionalities for calculating indicators for debt portfolio analysis and some related reports, and requests the program to add consolidated re reports covering selected indicators. Regarding DEMFAS 5.3.19, stresses the importance of providing support for DEMFAS 5.3 for as long as countries continue to use it and for all users to be updated to the latest patch before converting to DEMFAS 6. On capacity building, point 20, 
supports the program's plans for com complementary training in the specialized functions included in DEMFAS 6, for example, auctions, debt securities, debt and risk analysis. 21. Expresses its interest in UNCTAD providing support in the area of asset and liability management. 22. Recommends that the program establish a database of trainees in order to monitor sustainability and identify new training needs. 23. Emphasizes the importance of measuring the impact of the training provided. 24. Stresses the importance of continued capacity building to take account of staff turnover and changing requirements in debt management offices. 25. Communicates its interest in the program developing capacity building modules in contingent liabilities, capital markets, private public partnerships, investor relations, and external communications. Regarding interfaces with other systems, point 26. Appreciates that DENFAS 6 provides standard interfaces to other systems, including a facility to automatically upload exchange rates and to interface with auction systems. 27. Reiterates the need to facilitate links, links between DEMFAS and other systems such as NTDS, auction system spreadsheets and databases. 28. Appreciates the program's commitment to providing increased support for building interfaces with other systems. On coordination with other providers. 29. Acknowledges the program's coordination with other providers and emphasizes the need to continue its efforts to avoid overlapping and duplication and to ensure synergies based on comparative advantages. 30. Request the program to work closely with regional entities. 31. Stresses the need to have a centrally, a centrally coordinated approach amongst providers of technical assistance in each country and encourages UNCTAD to investigate the possibility of acting as a facilitator in this respect where the government requests it. 32. Acknowledges the capacity building gap, gap left in the absence of support from poll debt and requests the program to assist countries in finding a solution. On regional centers, point 33. Stresses the value of establishing regional support centers in all regions and request the program to seek the necessary funding. Point 34. Recognizes that regional support centers provide benefits such as closer presence of DEMFAS experts, enhanced response time across time zones, and improved coordination with other providers. 35. Asks the program to share with stakeholders its plans for creating regional centers, including the criteria for selecting locations. On monitoring and evaluation, point 36. Appreciates the improved monitoring and evaluation framework incorporated into the new strategic plan. 37. Recommends that the program monitors the sustainability of its activities at the country level. 38. Recommends regular monitoring of performance to ensure the timeliness of its responses. Regarding communication, 39. Appreciates the program's plans to improve communications through its new website portal and particularly the provision of mechanisms for peer-to-peer -peer information sharing between countries, including experiences and best practices. 40. Request the program to implement user forums as soon as possible and to facilitate communication between countries at the regional and the global level. 41. Request the program to provide documents and communications in the working languages of countries to the extent feasible. On support, point 42, would recommend more missions from DENFAS experts to reinforce sustainability of national capacities. 43, appreciates, expresses its appreciation for the support provided to debt management offices and encourages the program to continue to prior, prioritize high quality products and services <coughs> in response to user requests and feedback. 44. Appreciates the services provided by the DEMFAS help desk and stresses the importance of continued high quality and timely support. 45. Recognizes the value of the program support for debt sustainability and debt strategy formulation within its areas of comparative advantage. Regarding financing of the program, 
point 46, expresses satisfaction with the positive early results of the financial reform mechanisms integrated into the new strategic plan as recommended by the 2009 advisory group meeting, including the expanded donor base, multi-year funding, and cost-sharing mechanisms. 47, express, expresses its appreciation for the financial support to the DENFAST program from the donor community and, encourage, and encourages donors to continue their support. 48, conveys its appreciation for the participation of beneficiary countries in the funding of the program through the cost-sharing arrangements. 49, and last point, requests the Secretary-General of UNCTAD to consider increasing the resources made available from the regular budget of UNCTAD to support the work of the DENFAS program with the purpose of improving the balance between the different contributors to the funding of the program. Those are the draft conclusions. Thank you for your attention.